You're listening to Magrito Podcast Network, celebrating the culture of Chicanos and Latinos one story and voice at a time. Listen to more Magrito Podcast Network shows over at magrito.net. Connect on social, on Instagram and Facebook at Magrito. The Magrito Podcast Network. The Mind Buzz, now partnered with Magrito Industries. This podcast episode of The Mind Buzz is brought to you by House of Chingasos. House of Chingasos is a Latino-owned online store that speaks to Latino culture and Latino experience. I love House of Chingasos because I like t-shirts that fit great and are comfortable to wear. I wear them on the podcast and to the carne asadas. Click the affiliate link in the show description and use promo code THEMINDBUZZ. That's T H E. M-I-N-D-B-U-Z-Z to receive 10% off your entire purchase. The cash saved will go directly to the Mind Buzz podcast to help us do what we do best, and that's bringing you more Mind Buzz content. Click the link in the show description for more. The Mind Buzz is powered by Mind Buzz Media. Mind Buzz Media is an on-site video and audio podcast production company. Have you ever thought about starting your own video and audio podcast? Or do you have an existing podcast that you want to take to the next level? MindBuzz Media brings a professional podcast studio to you. Visit mindbuzz.org for more. Daylight Comedy is a stand-up comedy open mic, comedy showcase, and podcast recorded in front of a live studio audience. Each open mic and featured stand-up comedian will receive three minutes of stage time, followed by an interview with the host. That's me. Eat, drink, and laugh at Delit Comedy, February 23rd, doors 7.30, and show at 8 p.m. No cover, to drink the mind, mind buzz. buzz. Let's go. <laughs> that kind of threw me off a little bit. Just a little bit. I forgot to... What is up, Mind Buzz Universe? We're back again with another podcast episode. My name is Gil. I will be your host tonight, as I am every night, and working... The board is Amber. How are you? Hi. I'm How good. you doing? I'm good. Can we discuss what you have uh, accomplished over the past couple of days? I don't know. What did I do? Are we are we up to? <laughs> is that up for discussion? Uh, what, what you are now certified to do oh my in the state of California? Um, is it the sure? state? Is it the state of yeah, California? It's California. California only. Yeah. If I want to go and do it somewhere else, I have to. Ladies well, and actually, I don't know. That's a good question. Good question. I'll get maybe back to you on that one. Okay, but... maybe we can look it up. But uh, congratulations to Amber Bobadilla. She is now an ordained minister <laughs> in the state of California. We don't know if it's ordained if you're ordained for the rest of the country. Yeah. However, uh, I just prop. Good job. Just. I, I'm so <laughs> you're doing the Lord's work. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I'm just kidding. I'm not doing anything with the Lord. Ordained minister. <laughs> yeah, I can marry people. You can marry people now. Yeah. So if anybody wants to get married out there, I don't know if our guests want to get married. We could do it right now. And it'll be legal. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just what we needed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I did it uh, marrying my cousin. Oh well, no, I didn't, I'm not marrying my cousin. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second, that's what white people do. <laughs> I thought this was California. <laughs> wow. You my said, cousin's getting married you to said, a man. You set your uh, yourself up for that. One. I know. Oh As my it God. was coming, uh, never mind. <laughs> All right. I will stop. This is going to be a great episode. I it, think so, too. It has started off awesome. Before we get into our guest for today, let's get into the My Grito Weekly. Amber, go ahead. Yeah. And what do we have going on in the My Grito 
world. Yeah. So we have Maria Sanchez will be performing at Forever Mine in Bakersfield on February 10th. Some of you may remember her from episode 149 on the Mind Buzz. Make sure you visit our YouTube channel and check that interview and many more. Bad Hombres will be at La Cita on February 23rd. Um, they were also... Well, never mind, sorry. <laughs> I tried to do my own spin and it didn't work. Uh, you may remember us interviewing their drummer, Sebastian, on episode 170. He's a jiu-jitsu personal trainer, so go check their show out and also the episode. Um, Harless Sweetwater will be in Arizona at the Rhythm Room on February 29th. Uh, Rundown Creeps recently released their new music video. You can find them on YouTube or the link in their Instagram bio. Uh, the Paranoias will be releasing their new music video shortly, so stay tuned for that. Uh, for more details on these shows, go to the artist Instagram page and don't forget to visit mygrito.net to purchase your vinyl right meow. Yeah. And to reiterate, we got Maria Sanchez, Bad Hombres, Harley Sweetwater, and Rundown Creeps, along with the Paranoia Reach, releasing their new music video. Uh, go to mygrito.net for your vinyl package. Yeah. Packages. I kind of did the video a little bit uh, run on, but we can we can go ahead and, All right. and skip it. That. Okay, cool. That was awesome. Anything else in the Migrito world? Um, some exciting things, right? Coming up. I don't think we can announce it just yet, but Not yet. uh yeah. What do you have going on that you would like to share besides your your new Um, so there certificate. Oh, my new certificate. Marrying my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Other than marrying my cousin. Um, it'll, what do I have? Oh, on um February 10th, um, I will be hosting a Valentine pop-up at Orchateria Real Luna in the city of Paramount. Um, come on out, uh, support uh, local businesses, have some drinks, eat, uh, have fun. On the 24th of um, February, so one day after your event, uh, my sister and I are hosting a small business seminar so if you are a small business or looking to um kind of create your small business and you don't know where to start and just need some inspiration or some guidance or just you know want to create a network come on out um it's a four hour uh workshop and it'll be fun and the next day i'll be hosting a pet pop-up so for any pet mommies and daddies and you want to come out and get some stuff for your pets um come on out Awesome. And I'm probably going to show these dates again, but February 8th, I will be at Mamba Comedy in Huntington Beach. Yes. Huntington Beach and Fourth Wall in the city of Hollywood. And then also we will be having our live comedy open mic showcase and live podcast February 23rd. Go down to the link for the description and without further ado let's get into today's pendejadas <laughs> with ricky novea what up what up and jay <laughs> <laughs> hi <laughs> thank you for that <laughs> uh, i didn't know what to yeah jay it's fine jay's My first good. name it's good it works <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know whether hey, we kind of looks like nick we, who? My neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Is he cool? Well, and my fat. parents' neighbor now. Uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. And fat too. He's Mexican, but he looks. Jay's Mexican. White. Are you? Are you Mexican? Mexican? Yeah. Yeah. We oh, baptize okay. a Mexican. Like how much Mexican? Like. What are you tell him, Ricky. He's know, like he's I'm like the sure. honorary Mexican. Like, you you'll be surprised, bro. Oh, okay, okay. He knows a it. lot of Mexican stuff. Like he eats fajitas all the time, so he's Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not Mexican until you order. He does at Chili's <laughs> <laughs> with yellow cheese. Mm, yes. <laughs> real authentic. Maybe you can ask that, like, or, or let me let me ask you why why do white people put cheddar cheese on everything and call it Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, have the answer for that. No, I, wish I did. Yeah, 
Okay. Just thought I. I think because it lacks like seasoning in their food, so the only thing that's like kind of flavorful Stands is out. the cheddar yeah, cheese. Probably. Really binds everything <laughs> together. Uh, welcome to the podcast, guys. Thanks for having uh, us. <laughs> this is fucking awesome to be back, man. Uh, I appreciate. Yeah, Ricky, thanks for coming back, dude. Oh, cool. We had Damn, so much fun. We invited Ricky along with Jay to to talk mm-hmm. and podcast. Have you ever done anything like this before, Jay? Uh, no, 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 no podcast. No, but you listen to a lot of podcasts. I right? do a lot. What are some of the podcasts that you listen to? Um, Tiger Belly, Bad Friends. Mm. Um, you like Bobby Lee? I do. Amber has found a new joy for Bobby Lee, haven't you, Amber? <laughs> no, he's been popping up on all the all the podcasts lately. He did Rogan's, yeah. He did uh, Burt Cast. I think he's gonna do a special. That's what he was talking about on uh, the Joe Rogan Experience. Yeah, really. Yeah. He's, he's supposed to be at the Bray Improv too. Um, I think next week with like I think trying out new stuff. That's I think what I what they said in uh, Tiger mm-hmm. Billy. So, but he was like so adamant on. Kreischer's podcast. Mm. <laughs> you said it right, <laughs> but he was pretty adamant that he didn't. He didn't have to do a, a special. Yeah, he. Yeah, I, and what he said on Joe Rogan was that he's afraid to do a special because after he does the special, he has to do new material, and he's been doing the same material for I guess for a really long time. <laughs> so gotcha. that's what he's worried about is having to rewrite like all oh, kind of stuff. No, that makes sense. I think I'm going to chill out a- after these shows mm-hmm. and focus more on a new five minutes instead of dragging out a five minute set. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I was telling Jay on the way over here too that like I want to come up with new stuff as well. Mm-hmm. It's kind of tough, you know, like it's kind of tough to once you have like some things already set down and like kind of work and then you have to come up with new stuff. It's like little tough it throws me off when i add new bits with a new five minute like it 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 throws me off because i had to cut like the frenda joke right because i have i explain like in the first act of that i explain what a ofrenda is Mm -hmm. and i completely cut that out for the new five minutes to end on the selena joke Mm -hmm. right and it i think it just changed it a little bit like it threw everything off because i'm going into that joke making people I don't know how to explain it like the mind buzz is powered by mind buzz media mind buzz media is an on-site video and audio podcast production company have you ever thought about starting your own video and audio podcast or do you have an existing podcast that you want to take to the next level mind buzz media brings a professional podcast studio to you visit mindbuzz.org for more with it's like like making it sound like people already know what a friend exactly without me like i'm holding their hand explaining to them what an ofrenda is then i get into the selena thing and it it just kind of it hits different Mm, that's what i mean the selena yeah thank you appreciate it and the it was weird because the last, like, the last thing with that mm-hmm. is I just, I was making the bed and I was telling Amber, I was like, I need to finish this, like, really strong. And it just, it hit me when I was making the bed. And then I reiterated the joke to remember that, Amber. And I was like, what if I end it with this? And she was like, oh my God, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I love about it. Yeah, it's the best. Then I use Taking right chances, there. you yeah. know. Yeah. That's great. And it works, dude. Yeah, it totally works. Kills it. Yeah. So So, I'm... No pun intended. (laughs) (laughs) Right. I'm still trying to... I want to use that tag. Like, like if I get groans, just say, that joke usually murders. (laughs) Yeah. I think that'd be good. But uh, I don't know. Just just stuff that you learn along the ways, right? Yeah. So you've done... Jay, uh, Jay. Yeah, I have. Mm. Ricky. I've done Jay plenty of times. <laughs> Is this thing live? Yeah, it's live. Oh, great. We're live. 
Uh, oh, by the way, we don't edit anything. I don't know if Amber told you, but I we forgot to mention that. Yeah, we don't edit anything. Okay. So whatever's out there is out there. All right. I'll just stay quiet the rest of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Freudian slips. You know how many uh, bad words I have in my Al- pocket? Alabama Freudian slips over there, Amber, mm-hmm. with Mary and her cousins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you just did some shows over the week. Yeah. How did that go, dude? It was uh it was pretty awesome, man. Uh that's the Laugh Out Loud um show. Shout out to Eddie West. It was actually really fun. Um ooh, um I'm kinda of fucking blanking on his name. But Friday's headliner was um Darren Carter. Derek Carter, Darren Carter? I from fucking gonna fuck the shit. Aaron Carter. Not Aaron Carter, hell no. <laughs> but he was he was awesome. He's like, you know, the comedian with the flashlight. Like dead people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was really funny to watch. And then uh, Saturday show was really fun as well. That was a really packed house at uh, Bastards um, Canteen, I believe. <laughs> it was really cool. I enjoyed both of them, but I think that show was my favorite. I don't know why. I thought it was a free show, <laughs> you know, and I like showed up. I was like, oh, I'm going to come to Ricky's show. So I, I showed up and I was sitting at a table and I went to go use the restroom and I came back and like Ricky was holding my jacket. He was like, yeah, all these all these seats are sold out. <laughs> the so the only seats, place yeah. I could sit was outside of where everybody was performing. It's in the back. I couldn't hear anything. They're like back in the bus, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah back in the bus. By myself. Damn. They yeah. rose a park to you. It sure did. Towards the back. Hey, yeah. but it, we, I didn't know this fool can't really hear that well. No. So oh. like, I mean, it was loud. It was really okay. loud. And he's like, I couldn't hear anything. I'm like, you're one of me. I couldn't hear anything. Well, that, that's where they put the speakers, right? And towards the back? Or did they set it up differently this time? Um, they had, I think they had one in the front and I think they had one in the back. Mm. But, I mean, he's he's pretty deaf, so. Really? Yeah. How's that going? I noticed you? that. No. Every time you we're talking. Because well, we what? What'd you we say? text more than anything. Yeah. yeah so we, that's good for you. Do you ever text. hear like ringing in your ears? Uh, no. Okay, just me, all right? <laughs> just you. <laughs> No, because I, I'm pretty like hard of hearing, mm. but as of recent, I've been hearing like ringing. So maybe I should be alarmed. I went to a lot of loud concerts when I was younger. You know, up in the front by the speakers, and I think it kind of messed sense. me up. Took a toll over the years. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this yeah. will this will like literally spend the night to buy tickets like out in the what was it at to see I, who Rage Against the Machine? Right? Yeah, I slept yeah. out in front of. Uh, a Tower Records to get free tickets to um, Rage Against the Machine. Whoa. It was my first concert. Whoa, really? Yeah. When was that? In the 90s. Yeah? Yeah. Damn, dude. Oh. Imagine imagine that time when you had to buy physical tickets. Yeah. At Ticketmaster. Right? Or you had to go to a shop, box right? office. Box yeah. offices weren't on the web. Yeah, you had to no go to that place. At that time. Right. <laughs> yeah. How was no it? Web. There was no cell phones, really. I mean, there were cell phones, but nobody. They just had those big bricks at that time. Did you have a pager? You strike me as somebody that would have a pager. Oh, man. Yeah, I got a story about having a pager. <laughs> um, I wanted one so bad when I was a kid. It was like the like, it was like the the hip thing to do is like to have a pager. <laughs> you know, you know, it, like whatever, like you know, like. <laughs> Like, like clipped and like showing to everybody, like you got a pager on you, you know. And uh, I grew up really poor, and like no, you know, my mom and dad weren't gonna buy me a pager, you know, like for what? And um, I had a, a cousin, an older cousin, that had one for work, and I wanted one so bad, I stole it from him. <laughs> I stole it from him just to have it. It's like, you know, I just turned it off. You know, people would probably be paging him for work and, you know. Yeah, does I'm he know that like, you stole it? No. <laughs> so now it's going to come out to the world that he stole his I doubt he's going to watch this, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I stole it from him. There's only two people back in the day that had pagers that were hookers and drug dealers, yeah, right? And yeah. you were both. Yeah, I was selling ass. Yeah, ass crack, my, ass crack. <laughs> Some yeah. of these man titties, <laughs> the delicious man tits that mm-hmm. you got. Oh my god, damn! The nineties were wild. Then I've been in yeah. this weird nineties trip for the bat for the past like couple of weeks, dude. Mm-hmm. What about? Yeah, 
Oh, just like music and clothing and just pop culture, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. Watching music videos. We watched a Ricky Martin music video yesterday, and I was telling Amber's aunt that I want to look like that when I get older. <laughs> <laughs> and she told, what did she tell me? She was like, she's you, like, you can look like him, but just don't be like him. And he's like, why? What, what's wrong, what's with, so wrong with that? <laughs> yeah. He didn't know he was gay. And then we're like, he's gay. And he's like, no, he's not. And I kept like, on pushing the envelope. Didn't he, did he die? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. To like have like that to have another gay guy. To <laughs> have the Latinos probably you're, when he was gay, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're He's you're thinking of that. Ricky Novea. <laughs> yeah, Ricky, Ricky Novea dies all the time on stage. I don't know why I thought he died of AIDS or something. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> I really did. <laughs> He's throwing false information out there. <laughs> You're going to give me another strike on YouTube. <laughs> Damn, <TMZ. laughs> Who would it be? I mean, uh, there was Ricky Martin. He, what song? La, La Vida, Vida Loca. Loca. Yeah. yeah, we watched that. I used, get, I used to get him and George Michael. George, George Michael, Michael from Wham, what like mixed up. <laughs> yeah. Pull up George That's Michael. Really hard to that, That's though. so different. I don't know why. Just... Pull up George Michael. Let's see. Is it with a J or a G? G. He's not Jorge. I'm trying to name him Jorge Michael. Jorge Michael. Yeah, that's him. Singer. Record producer, singer, songwriter. He's, he's dead. Oh, okay. Yeah, he died. Let's say 2016. Did he die of AIDS? Well, they're similar. Yeah, I think so. I think he did die of AIDS. <laughs> he died gained. of natural causes. Uh, <laughs> From AIDS, though. <laughs> <laughs> he got caught uh, giving a beach or trying to give a beach uh -huh. to a cop, an undercover cop. Oh, my God. Got, yeah, it was a big thing. I mean, him and Ricky Martin have some similarities, though. You know, how, like, how he ended up, like, cheating on his husband with, like, his nephew or something like that? Yeah, that's Whoa. Wild. Yeah. That just came out, too, like, not too not long, long ago, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, like, a year ago, I think. Gotcha. I think he came out after that. Well, natural causes. Natural um, causes, you know. AIDS to a gay man that is natural causes. Uh, but I can see where the similarities are. <laughs> I don't, oh, wait. Actually, yeah. that one. Is that, that them holding you hands can't? right there? No. No. That's him and him. <laughs> George Michael's family won't speculate on death cause. Look at that hmm. hair. Yeah, that's where I, that's what I'm shooting I think you for. Should a handsome man. I think you should come out on stage with the uh, dress pants and suspenders. Yeah, no shirt. Mm. Yeah. Okay, rainbow suspenders. Yeah, he has some. I have some. You do have some. I have a a slew of costumes that I'm waiting to. That's fun. Come out with. Yeah, I want to go to a themed party. I like themed parties. Yeah, I haven't been to one since I was a child. Really? Yeah. When's I've been to one in my adult adult life. Yeah, have you ever had like a party, a birthday party? That's I'm not going to tell you my birthday. By uh, <laughs> that's witch stuff. Yeah, we really want to know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Can you guess? Actually, I wanted. I was waiting for this podcast to reveal it. I feel like you're a Gemini. Really? Oh hmm. no, no, I don't. That's think That's not so. good. Aren't like uh, Gemini like two faced people? Yeah, but you're mysterious in a way, so we don't know. Uh oh, why? Because you don't want to tell us your birthday. <laughs> That's I feel it. Like, I feel like once you know, you're gonna be like, ah. Ah, uh, it yes. makes sense. Okay, Gemini. Oh, <laughs> the first thing that I told you not to do, you do it. I forgot it was here. It's clear. <laughs> um, Gemini, no. Wait, are you keeping your birthday a secret from me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? I don't know. He says his mom said not to. He's a Virgo. Ah, uh, what? Oh my God. <laughs> No wonder it makes all the sense. <laughs> Kill some vert. Hey, she didn't say what day though. She just said like I didn't. But that's why he he wanted to know so you can know the the date. That's like around August. August in September, like that? Yeah. Yeah, because one of my, my close friends is a uh, shout out to Willie, because if I don't shout him out, he's gonna be shout all about her. Willie. Big Will, big black. Woo. Willie Thanga. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Virgo, so mm, I that, love Willie. That's the only Virgo that you know, and now me, I guess. Oh, and my friend Umpa too. He's a Virgo too. Umpa? Yeah, his nickname <laughs> is Umpa, Jeez. like Umpa Loompa. Oh my god, <laughs> man! I can't believe you, Amber. What? I I I hold all your secrets. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, what, I do. What day is it? Like what day? It has to be double digits. So. 
What's Dang. so wrong with revealing your birthday? Because I want to be mysterious. Well, what's your sex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't even know what your sex is, dude. <laughs> That's what I really want to know. Because <laughs> last time you were saying you, you're, what, a lesbian? <laughs> In stage I've never one? seen a brown guy blush before. <laughs> wow. That's also a mystery. You will not find <laughs> Fair out. Fair enough. You will not You'll find tell out. us when you're ready. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll find, show you. I'll find that clit one way or the other. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just, just one long clit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mind Buzz. <laughs> this show's going to be wild today. Um, can we see what the largest clit in the world is? <laughs> oh, can you pull that up? Yuck. Do it. I want to see how we... We don't have to show everybody at home, but can we see it? Just don't show it on uh, on the production company. On the production uh, I mean, the, the, the production ah. What you call it? <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm the, just so you know, you're going to hell after you look at this. I don't want to look one. at this. Just put largest. Look it up on your phone. Okay. You gotta get a virus on the fucking computer over here. Yeah, just... I know. You're gonna make the whole Already production. On there. <laughs> she didn't even want to type it in the just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. In the world. In the works. I put. Okay, here we go. Oh wait. Oh, it's taking me to. <laughs> That is, that's it? Uh, it looks like a little <laughs> wiener. Oh. <laughs> it looks like a little mushroom cap. Little, what is that? little lady boner. Wow. That. That's interesting. I, I, oh, that <laughs> one. Okay. 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 That one's good. <laughs> All right. Anybody else getting hard? <laughs> that's uh, Mark Mummy reference. Oh, my God. Comedy. That, Damn, that's the biggest this one. This is high school all over again. Yeah, here but in my living room. Oh, haven't you heard about our group chats? Yeah, we don't we don't do mics, all right. <laughs> we, don't we don't do mics. We don't do mics. We just talk and uh, look up this. The clitoris. Ten facts. Let me look. Can you not? That. Can you move on? Let's write this down. We might need okay. this for later. <laughs> all right. Send me that picture. Okay, I'll put it in the group <laughs> chat. Hold on. Talking about August twenty eighth, nineteen ninety one. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll wow. That. Okay, that's fine with me because that's right. totally wrong. Yeah. Is it the wow. year or the day? The day. <laughs> what day? Is it twenty fifth? Because that's Willie's birthday. You did that on ac- <laughs> Was that on purpose or accident? What? You getting my birthday wrong? No, I thought we were. I know what your birthday oh, okay. is. And it is. All right. I was trying to diverge the conversation. Oh, okay. And you would get your attention. All right, so let's let's just bring out the obvious. What about uh, Shadi Bay's uh, OnlyFans? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. That joke that you said. That was pretty wild. Was so funny. With the back shot, you know, the... I said it? Yeah. I forgot what I said. Oh, she's got like a long butt. And you oh, said she, she had she, a long ass... She has a long ass day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Look, this is my philosophy behind the whole thing, right? I don't want to see it. But yeah. it makes you like cuz you see her, you see her body structure and you see the way that she is, right? Like her personality. So it makes you curious. So you're going to go and pay whatever x amount of money that it is to see it. Like even if you're not like turned on by it, even if you're not whatever, mm. you're it, it's enticing and you're going to go and you're going <laughs> to well, Let me pay. let me tell you. I know a few she's, people that probably hit to be honest. <laughs> like she's built like a melted candle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> it's real bad. If Mike Lazowski had an OnlyFans, that's what it'd be like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Oh my god, but it um I didn't I didn't click on it, by the way. <laughs> hey, you said you put it on uh, Amber's credit card. <laughs> <laughs> he can't stop. <laughs> no, but uh, it was it was pretty wild. It was pretty. I wonder how much she makes from from that. I'm pretty sure she made a good amount of money. Can you can we look that up? Are what, you gonna like, filter what is the she, um, Google stuff that we're doing? What today? is she famous for? Like, where is she from? Like, I don't know anything about She's her. She's just. Like TikTok famous. Yeah. She's uh, just, she just like, a, like, I think she used to make like her own like little videos. And then it's just the way that she kind of like talk. And it's like genuinely her. Like it's not like she's making a front or anything. Mm. And then from there she went viral. And then she kept going like more viral and viral. And then she got like, you know, a whole team behind her. And then she moved to LA. And yeah. Is she like uh, normal? 
What the fuck? She looks like she's got like a touch of the downs or something. <laughs> no. No? No. Right, maybe it's just my eyes. It is your eyes. I, I think, can't hear I or see. What? It's actually her eyes that, that what, that's the problem. Um, what they've said before. Because <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> she just blends in with that background. What her family has said, because a lot of people have asked, um, the only thing her sister said was that she had like a learning disability. Oh, okay. Oh, we all have that. I can relate. Yeah. yeah. And I'm one to talk, you know. I'm no, just... but she does have a, a forehead that is uh, large. She's got larger than know. life. Some, she got. Some I don't good, know, but we could talk she's... shit all day about her. But hey, but she's she making money. money. Can, can <laughs> we see? <laughs> she's richer than us. Can we yeah. see her net worth? Hundred percent. Did you know that her her OnlyFans got leaked? That's what we were talking about. Yeah. Uh, like the photos or. Like people were able to hack into her account. Is that what you're talking about? No, I think just photos. Like, like um, you can like um, screenshot yeah. that stuff and just throw it up. Yeah, but know? the people that that actually do that, they're under. They can investigate you for that because, like, under uh, like OnlyFans, if you redistribute the picture, then you can get sued for that. Yeah, it seems like you know a cease and desist or whatever. Yeah, actually I uh there was a there was a job opening to actually work for them. Oh. Yeah. And they sent me like different uh nudes. Like, <laughs> no, it was I had to take like a test to work for them on why I wanted to work for them and uh how so basically i think i was going to be like an account manager for the for different only fans mm. accounts meaning and i'm thinking right maybe i was gonna have access to all these different photos and i was gonna act as the person in the photos you know what i'm saying <laughs> So the person that is, you're not actually talking to these people on OnlyFans. You're going to be talking to me, dude. Wow. Fucking Gilly sending nudes of himself. <laughs> but it's the other people. Yeah. So I would be their account manager. Hmm. Wow. Sounds like a pimp to me. It's like they're outsourcing, but not to China, just to Chino. Yeah. <laughs> just to Chino. <laughs> yeah. Amazon the fire today, dude. She's Hell good, yeah. dude. She's good, but uh, I, I didn't, I didn't get the I job. I can't find anything. You didn't get anything? No, I can't find anything on how much she made or what her net worth is. Really? Mm -hmm. She's worth every penny. <laughs> they probably haven't like calculated it just yet. Mm. Well, what about the OnlyFans? No, I don't. I don't know how much she's made because she just opened it, right? She hasn't. It hasn't even been like a month. It's like so two days. Ricky had a anything. Ricky had an alert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on his phone. Phone. I was Let counting down. Yeah. Get a notification when she was about to drop her OnlyFans account. <laughs> but I think countdown? I think like the top like OnlyFans like person makes like I want to say like three hundred thousand dollars like a week or something. Like God, that. Damn. God, yeah, that's crazy money. I know the first. I think the first day that uh, what was her name? The bad baby. Mm -hmm. The girl from Dr. Phil. Yeah, she made a ton. The, <laughs> she made like side girl. She made like close to a million dollars like on her first day, I think. Yeah. Something like that. The controversy you, on that. Did you hear that? Can you check me on that one? She's like, you know how many pedophiles <laughs> got my OnlyFans waited for me to be 18 to pay for that? Yeah, and that was weird. You were able to... Um, I don't know how to know this, but... <laughs> you, you, <laughs> Man, you're getting ready to throw yourself under the bus. You were FBI. able... <laughs> Is it a break in right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but you were able to, like what you did with Shoddy Bays, you're able to put that on like a notification. Okay, for to clear the record, I didn't go and fucking <laughs> leak it. Oh. Someone sent it to me, and I sent it to you guys. As of August 2022, the highest earning OnlyFans account ever were the musicians. Oh, musicians, Bad Baby and Cardi B. Yeah, She's a musician. Baby, she rapped. Yeah, she rests. Oh, having earned fifty nine point eight million U.S. dollars and forty six point seven U.S. dollars respectively, the highest paid non musician was Black China, having earned thirty nine point three million U.S. dollars. Whoa, Dang, good that's lord, crazy! That is nuts. From nudes, from just your body, Jesus, and she's barely like eighteen, right, Ricky? 
Yeah, I think she turned you. <laughs> that was the whole thing. Everybody was talking about that. We're we're, we're gonna go to uh, I don't know. Shout out to uh, Andy C Comedy. Yeah, what's up? You know Andy? Andy? Yeah, uh, I think he was at the Kings Brewery. Um, oh yeah, feature. that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to him. Oh, by the way, dude, I totally forgot. Uh, next next show, I'll wear your T-shirt. I totally forgot uh, last Wednesday at the the open mic that I seen him. He gifted uh, a t-shirt and a koozie which i don't have at the table but dude next show i will do that that's uh that's yeah yeah. all right sergio said you still haven't checked the women that sell feet pics yeah (laughs) i have i don't know what you want to call it what you want to call it yeah i think i have yeah yeah (laughs) when when are you gonna do that um soon (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> do you on the spot though right done and done put you on there dude yeah oh you know what was actually pretty funny on my show saturday like you know how that that toe joke and stuff right mm-hmm. some girl <laughs> was sitting in the front she was showing her toes she was like cool with the toe. i was like peeking over like playing with like my set <laughs> and then she's like yeah i have no hair on them i'm like yeah they're clean i was like you know then more never mind <laughs> <laughs> wow. I and can't. then you got an awkward boner. <laughs> I got an awkward boner on stage. <laughs> wow, I've never had done this before. <laughs> Just staring staring down at it. Oh my god. I, I didn't see I didn't hear it because I couldn't hear anything. He was in the back. <laughs> yeah. For that show too? Yeah. I got up, I took a couple pictures of him on stage and just listened to myself <laughs> talk to myself. Getting dissed by all the hey, comics. Did you know, getting dissed did you by know that not everyone, because you said talk to yourself, we looked it up on the Oh, on here, yeah, that's wild. Thing. You know that everybody doesn't have um, like self dialogue? Mm. Like, not, it's like like more than half of the population, mm-hmm. like, like a big, big percentage, uh, don't like talk to themselves in their head or they don't think. Do you do, you do that? Do yeah. you guys do that? Yeah, yeah, I talk to myself a lot. All the time. I tell myself jokes. <laughs> just, I still yeah. tell myself just about being a fucking a pawn from time to time. I do this whole like little ritual in my head before I go on stage too. Do you really? Yeah. Like what? How do you get prepared? I, for, I, dude, I don't know. Uh, I think it's just kind of like a uh, uh, like soccer thing. Like mm-hmm. when I would play before a game, I just talk to myself, like just have fun. And then the Joey Diaz comes on me, like get up, cocksucker. I saw you doing that on yeah, Saturday, walking back and forth. I was just gonna kinda, take video of it, and I was like, ah. This guy's having a like, mental breakdown. <laughs> fucking stressing the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, you were praying. You were yeah. doing the sign of the cross and everything. Really? Yeah, yeah. Just, it's just a little ritual. It just kind of helps me relax. Gotcha. I don't Focus. have a ritual. I think that's my problem. I need to come up with a ritual before doing something. I don't like have that. a ritual, but but uh, I don't know. It's weird. I was telling Ricky, like, I everything inside of me fights, like, does not want to go up on stage. Like everything inside my head is telling me like, don't do this, just leave. And there's this little, little voice that's just like, just do it. Is that the gerbil? Just do it. It's, it's the, the gerbil. gerbil that's inside of him. <laughs> he's got to yell though, because he's going, he's coming. The gerbil away, inside but, of your butt. Oh, he's just evil. like, let me out. <laughs> yeah, it's weird though. Yeah, it's just uh, get up there, just do it anyway. Richard Gear, you look like Richard Gear just a little bit. You can make, you can play his stunt like I double. Ate Richard Gear. Huh? It looks like I ate Richard Gear. Yeah, because I'm fat. Or the gerbil. <laughs> you look like a gerbil too. You could play a gerbil. I want to cut your head off and put it on a gerbil. Wow! This is a Let's science experiment. You heard that, everybody? <laughs> he wants to cut my head off. <laughs> Zip line. <laughs> FBI is coming in, kicking down your door. And the gerbils. I don't know. Show us the bodies. You'll find them. Yeah, you'll find them. I do want to to reiterate that if anything happens to Amber, then I am not involved in that. I just want to say that, okay. make that clear. Why? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know, you know my dad listens it's got to dark. this. Dark, huh? I said, no you know my dad listens to this. But I'm saying, isn't that Help. what you said? <laughs> no, I never said that. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. I must have read it in a comic book. So, or something. so Gil, is that short for something? Yeah. What's it short for? For uh for Gilbert. Gilbert. Yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking whether to use that as a stage name or not. I don't know. I, I, I'm 
I'm still in between what to call myself. Yeah. Besides uh, a male. Uh, I, I don't know. I was going through this weird thing to where I needed a stage name, but I just made it really complicated. And I was just like, yeah, I'm just going to go by Gil. Yeah. That was it. It works. Yeah. yeah. And and usually when I sign up, they're like, just one name. Like, really? <laughs> just one name? And you, and it's, I just get really confused looks. I didn't put much thought into it at all. I just... No? Yeah, I was like, I'm just going to go by my name. Am I focusing yeah. on, on ridiculous things? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, what, yeah. well, what's your last name? Angiano, which is a total nightmare. I can't even... <laughs> yeah, that'd be hard to say. I can't even say it again. You know how many comics would probably, or how many hosts would butcher that last name? Like yeah, they butcher right. mine all the time too, and it just right. But. I think the what derived from that is uh, I think uh, Sergio fucked it up on like the first uh, <laughs> the first <laughs> mic that I went to. Sergio, and he like, and I was just like, oh man, I need to not use my last name. So Let's just, come up with the last name for you. I did. I was I was gonna go by like Gil Lopez, and then I went to like Gil Gilbert. What's Amber's last name? Mine's worse. <laughs> it's Boba. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Gil Boba. There you go. That should be Gil your stage Boba. name. You yeah. kind of look like a little Boba ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with the glasses. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. I if, if I would be a cartoon character, it would be a, like a Boba or a koala drink. Yeah. Yeah. But Gilbert Gill, what about that? Is that is that Gilbert weird? Gil? Yeah. No. Gilbert, no. No, that's lame. I think Gill's fine. That was at the top of my list, actually. Yeah. It was. Yeah. That's Gil, the stage the one bottom. lesbian comic. Because Gilbert's funny, right? <laughs> G- Gilbert's a funny name. The Gilbert, only, yeah. Gilbert. The only Gilbert was Gilbert Gottfried and Gilbert, that's it, right? As far as I know. Can we look up... Uh, Comedians named Gilbert. Comedians named Gilbert. I'm probably going to be on there. Maybe. Uh, Gilbert Godfrey was a legend, dude. Uh, George. There's a lot of Georges in there. Comedians. Okay. Just one. There we go. I would have an advantage, right? Mm-hmm. On that. I don't know. I just... For a very long time, I never liked my name, so I think that's... I didn't even like Gil, dude, to be honest. Gil, Gil. Sergio says, Gil and Giano sounds good on stage. You put too much thought into it. Damn. Wow. Sergio, you happen to kill the room (laughs) in the podcast studio. (laughs) I'm, I'm like thinking what, how to respond to it. Uh, just kidding. Uh, JK, no JK. Yeah, there's only Gilbert Godfrey. So, um, I don't know, dude. I'm putting too much thought into it. Yeah, no pressure, dude. Eventually, yeah. something maybe come up. Is Ricky Novea your real name? Yeah. Well, my real name is Ricardo Novea. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, why don't you go by Ricardo? <laughs> I don't know, like, like it's just I don't know. I got used to Ricky. That's I feel it. like Ricardo Novella is more like Ooh. senor, more like senor. a senor, and you'd be like a novela or something. Where Everybody Ricky... says novela, like oh wait, like the Spanish soap opera. I'm like, sure, dude. I just got to got used to it. So like, I don't even correct oh, anybody. Oh, because novella. Mm-hmm. No, I'm saying because like like an actual novela, like Ricardo Novella. You know, like <laughs> it's like, too it's sexy. Like that. <laughs> Where Ricky is like. It's more playful. It's easier. Oh to yeah. Say. It honestly like, like yeah. That's why I want I like the name Ricky more because it is playful. Like and I feel like that's like my stand up. You know, like I just want everybody to be my friend at the end of my fucking set. You know, like oh I want to party with this guy kind of thing. So yeah, Ricardo's too. That's my dad. You know, his name's Ricardo. So. Are you a junior? No, I'm not. I'm just Ricardo Novia. I just have the same name. I didn't put junior on my birth certificate or anything like that. So no, you have a birth certificate. I don't think so. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure it's just. Can we check him? Can we? Can you check that for us, Jay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> check already my, on it. Check my prostate <laughs> while you're at it. Mm-hmm. I'm already on it. And then Jay, my hands um, already in his pocket. So, jeez, Louise, yeah. how how many minutes are we in before? Dang, we're at 43 minutes right? already. Yeah, mm-hmm. that went by really quick. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. So, what you guys been up to? Just okay. Working, <laughs> just working, writing jokes. Yeah. Trying to memorize my jokes. Uh, how do you do that? 
Um, I've been recording myself once a day, like the voice memos and like not looking at notes mm. and then going over it and making sure I didn't forget anything. Really? And I've been, yeah, for the last like few days, like I've, I've memorized it. Yeah. But I think it's going to be a lot different once I get on stage. I was listening to, uh, okay, sounds cool. I was listening to uh, <laughs> All right. Louis C.K. on how he memorizes stuff. Mm-hmm. And he writes, it was like a little clip that he was talking to Rogan about. He writes like a phrase. He doesn't write at all, mm-hmm. full bits. He goes on stage and just see how how it does in mm-hmm. front of an audience. Yeah. And he does it that way. Earthquake does that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, that's, that's like pro status, dude. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, just goes up on stage and has like ideas already in his head and just says them and I don't know. I feel that like at our stages, some comics do that, open mic comics do that, but it just doesn't, it's not portrayed to the same because there's no structure, right? Yeah. Because these guys have been doing it for a billion years. Yeah. I think sometimes though, like if you do have like an idea or a premise that you can just like try to talk about on stage, you'll get a bit out of it. Like try it out a couple of times. Cause there's times where I don't want to say that all the time, but like there's a couple of times where I've just talked about like a premise. <laughs> what was funny about that? I don't know. <laughs> and they just, you on stage just mumbling. Do, yeah. But most of the time it doesn't work, but sometimes there'll be a little bit of something that I can work with. Yeah. You know, when, when I am, trying to come up come up with something because i stumble over my words like sick dude like really bad you, you trip over your and tongue I pause yeah i pause a lot i pause a lot in normal conversation yeah i can see that people think i'm like dumb or something but i'm dumb. just thinking really just hard processing about... a little slower <laughs> right yeah. <laughs> hey but i like that for you though uh, you take your time yeah, because you know? I don't want to say um or other stuff. It's 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 hard. It's different, you know. <laughs> I don't. These are horrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm. Uh, I get that because I say I, I would say I'm not, but now I say shit a lot. You know, and shit like so. I'm trying to like be or more. Or you aware. know, that's another. Oh, you know, thing yeah. too. I used to say, you know what I mean. You know what I mean when I used to talk to people. Yeah. You know what I mean. And then one, uh, she was a bitch, but. I mean, it made me stop. Whoa. But it made me stop. It made me stop doing it. She embarrassed me. And she's like, we know what you mean. You don't have to keep saying you know what I mean. <laughs> and I was like, oh. So after that, I became conscious of that I was using you know what I mean as like. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, man? <laughs> you know? Like, so I stopped. But I would say it a lot. I think it's just you want people to. It's kind of like what it's like a tick, it? right? No, not a tick. Oh. But I think like reinforcement. You want to be like reassured that what you're saying is correct. Yeah. Right. Or at least I used it in that way. Like, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I usually you say, know what I mean? Pero. <laughs> pero. Yeah. But, but it I after it, she seemed like a, a bitch at first, but it really made you think and think about what your conversation structure was, right? Yeah, of so course. It was, I was, it was conscious. In hindsight, now about it was good for you. No, that's what I'm saying. She came off as a bitch at first, but what she did helped me. Yeah, and it's all always super uncomfortable telling people about, uh, especially on stage when you're an artist and people critique you on your art that you've been working at hours on days and yeah. telling you you should have done it like this. It's just tiring. So how how would okay? I'll ask all three of you guys. So how would you? What's a healthy way or what do you guys think is a healthy way to be able to, I don't even want to say critique, right? Because I feel like, like, especially like stand up or whatever I'm thinking, like, like the only person that can really, really critique you is someone that's like fucking made it, right? Like someone that's like top dog, things like that. But what what I'm saying is like, what's like, like a good camaraderie or, or how would you guys like to be told by someone else, a fellow peer, like as a quote critique or maybe an improvement they think like how do you what's the ideal way to tell someone and how do you feel when someone does come up and tell you something about i think as long as you um respect the person that's telling you you know if you actually like respect them in the sense that you think that what they do is funny 
and you've seen them perform and get laughs and things like that. And pretty much any, any tip that they can give you, you should probably absorb it because they're doing something right. Especially if you if you admire what they do and you get inspiration from them. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, well, you kind of had to have thick skin either way. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah you had to thick, have to have thick skin see, in comedy. Let's see if that's on the board. Stop cutting him off. Go, Ricky. Right. Yeah. But and <laughs> you fucking <laughs> asshole, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, having thick skin, um, kind of what Jay said too, like uh, you respect a person and you think they're funny. Um, but I think you also had to just like, you, you, I think you can feel it too. Who's trying to actually trying to help you and who's not. Cause there's some comics that just like might give you bad advice. You can use it on stage just to see you bomb. Mm. But then you can also just pick and choose who, who's um like what, what yeah. you want to keep. From, right? What you want to keep. Cause mm-hmm. at the end of the day, it's like, it's, it's your you. choice. It's your yeah. choice. And then it's also subjective, right? Like to totally. your point mm-hmm. is subjective because if a comic is giving you advice mm-hmm. that you don't, you're just like okay. But for he gives me advice, and I think it's like golden because right. of my my um, what admiration. is it like, admiration? My uh, your structure of how you do mm, no, like my. It, there's a word for it. I'm I'm trying to draw. I'm drawing a blank on that. But it's like my uh, my per. I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> Sound like a cat. My <laughs> per. <laughs> I take all my notes from stray cats in the alley. No, I, I guess it's your. Why do they have to be straight for? Why can't they be gay cats? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Because I go wild for gay pussy. No. uh, Because it's your, I guess it's your perspective of what that particular person giving you, like it's your, I don't know, your, not personification. Never mind. Next, skip me. Your (laughs) perineum. I don't know. You're peripheral. No, <laughs> not peripheral. Of, it's it's a period. If you're on your <laughs> period, you're a potato. No, more. <laughs> potato. <laughs> you're pumpkin. Amber, pull all the words that start with P and let's go one by one <laughs> and <puppy>. insert that. <laughs> no, but because I, I, I think of like, I guess I'm thinking of an instance like that happened this weekend, right? I'll, I'll give you guys a, a little tidbit of what happened. So we, we always get like, you know, with the business, obviously with Yelp being there, you know, it's easy for people to go up and critique you and say, hey, I didn't like this. Or, hey, you should do this. Hey, you should do that. Hey, you should do this. Right. So for me at the beginning, when we first opened the business, it was really, really hard on me because I I literally like got like sick, like physically sick to where I was just like, I can't look at comments anymore. I can't yeah. see this yeah. because it was a jab to to what we had done right you work so hard and then somebody comes and says well maybe you should do this maybe you should do that because i've gone here and this and that right so it took me a really really long time to get perception Perception. (laughs) eureka (laughs) it's perception so i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm ready to cut you off but we'll get back to you are you really no let her finish but first (laughs) let me finish your what i was saying is that Rude. it's it's your perception of the person giving you advice. If you mm. think that that person is good, then yeah. the advice is going to be good. But if you right. think it's bad, then you're going to think that the advice is bad or ill willed yeah. or in a malicious. Either way, sense. I'll still t- I will, I'll still take any information. Take yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be rude about it. See, but here, here, let me finish my thing, okay. and maybe it'll debunk your perception thing because. So so anyway, so it took me a while, right, to be able to take criticism and everything. And obviously having a business, you have to because not because you like it means that everybody likes it. Right. But not because one person doesn't like it doesn't mean that 50 others. Yeah, don't yeah, totally. So this weekend. So obviously we've had that. Right. And we're just kind of like, all right, well, if we think we're doing a pretty good job and, you know, we're we're ready to stick to what it's it's it is or whatever we're just gonna keep going so this weekend we had someone come and she took her time out of her day to write an email saying that our cafe de olla was 
extremely sweet and that her entire party um, thought it was really Lost sweet. It was ruined. <laughs> it yeah, was ruined. Her whole party. <laughs> no, like everybody in her party thought the same thing and that her wife had just come from Oaxaca and she agreed <laughs> and that the coffee in Oaxaca was not as sweet and she just thinks that if we made it less sweet, um, it would be perfect, right? So my initial brain was like, well, then fucking go to Oaxaca and drink coffee from Oaxaca. I'm like, don't here. fucking come here. Like, you know, like, like that was my like, well, f- don't fucking drink our coffee. And then my other brain came in and was like, okay, is she genuine? Possibly, right? She's taking yeah. time out of her day to genuinely come and give us, you know, advice. Um, it's it's all subjective. It's all subjective, you right? Know? Because yeah. I don't Her know this person. Her tongue is the same as my tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Giggity. So- she had a wife. <laughs> I know. So I mean, Ricky and I's tongue is not yeah. the same. Her, her, her <laughs> taste is wrestle. yeah. Sure, her taste is for her taste for the finer things in life are completely different than yours, oh, Jay. Yeah, totally. So yeah. what? What I the re, just the reason why I brought it Got up is just you. because it, it it I I could see when someone says something when you work so hard and then somebody comes and dismantles it in a millisecond and it it hurts right but you guys are saying like you have to have tough skin and and who you want to take it from and you you also you also have to put yourself in um that person's shoes i think because sometimes you might not like as like a comedic like response right like if i'm watching my video like and i can hear okay this joke actually sucked Mm -hmm. and i'm like okay i can see from their perspective then which is yeah. most of the videos, right? Most of the videos, okay. yeah. And then, <laughs> um, then you can kind of see why. But if you like put yourself in their shoes and then kind of see like, oh, they're wrong, then I don't know. It's just, but like you said, it's subjective. Like it just yeah. depends. Yeah, I mean, you kill it one hundred percent of the time, and like that's what I'm saying. Like audiences, they do make a difference, but then they don't make a difference at the same time right because that's your their their job is to understand you and reciprocate whatever yeah it is that they're hearing from you mm-hmm. right and it's your job to be funny whether it doesn't matter what the audience is right is or not that makes sense does it yeah sure i i agree gilly I didn't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got lost in your eyes. I'm I was not gonna th- lie. <laughs> I was thinking about the enlarged clit that we saw. So oh, I don't know. My God. <laughs> you just look like a large clit to me at this point. You look mm. like the kid from Up now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Adventures out there. <laughs> that weird one? that I find that sexy. <laughs> Whoa. 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 I'm Whoa. Just kidding. Whoa. Joking. <laughs> joking. 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 He likes to oh, find, really? He finds chubby kids funny <laughs> and sexy. <laughs> Jesus. We, got, we gotta get you a Boy Scout uniform. I actually would like to see that too. Yeah. We should all dress as Boy Scouts one time. That would be cool. Yeah. For for the next one, we should do that. Yeah. 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 That'd be fun. We don't do mics though. Remember hey, that. didn't we just see no. that sign of the guy? Picketing oh, outside the Boy yeah. Scout place Can we look there? that up? Because that's pretty local for local news. Uh, what is it called? Boys Republic. Boys Republic. <laughs> yeah. Fuck? We yeah. Were, we AKA were having, Jay's Closet. We were having dinner <laughs> on hot. Saturday. And there's, I guess, this, like, what it's called, Boys Republic. Probably like a Boy Scout. And there was a guy, like an old, he was already older, right? Maybe like in his 30s. Yeah, he and looked like And then like, 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 a, like a lady. With hair. And he had signs and he was saying, what did he say? He was suing Boys Republic for um, sexual assault, right? Whoa, you're like, gonna say the whole word on here? I could say, can I? I can't say that. Mm, S aid. I usually you say S aid. Said all these other things. You said clit and everything, and I say whoa, sexual whoa. assault. That, that's actually uh, oh. that's a body. That's, yeah, that's an body anatomy. Part. Yeah. Oh God. Um, Come on, Amber. <laughs> really? I'll turn this thing off, guys. It's because, <laughs> it's because your face is not on the screen. I'll make it seem like it Do, never got recorded. Doesn't mean you can say whatever you want. Uh, but 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 the, Boys Republic is a it's a uh, I don't know what boy it band. Is. <laughs> Did you see those boy yeah. band? Nothing without labor. Okay. Nothing without labor. Again, uh, Jay's closet name. That's his like number one album that he oh, has no, on his that, playlist. Yeah. 
Nothing without labor. Uh, yeah. Free labor. There's a call on your arts, Senator? Yes. What? Uh, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, surprisingly, nothing on the sexual assault case. Well, no, they're not oh. going to put it on their website. <laughs> hey, check it out. Who Who's outside trying to sue us? It's a, it's a drop-down menu. <laughs> <laughs> sexual assault. Uh, this or this SA. year in the this year in the Since calendar 1907 that's like the year Jay was born yeah but, <laughs> but what is close 1908 <laughs> but what exactly is like what do they do it looks like it's like a like a center for arts and baseball and it's like a community center oh why do they call it Boys Republic because it was probably made well yeah it was made in the 19 nothing it without was labor. That is okay. strange to put, and there's only people of color on the <laughs> website. Get out! <laughs> Nothing without labor. That's strange. But yeah, we've seen that on Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that, was, that was weird to see, because it was just like a lady and her son, I'm assuming that was her son, Holding up signs, we're suing Boys Republic. How and dare you, you assume that was your son? I know. I just said a guy and a uh, lady. Still assuming a gender. Oh, two people. Gosh. One yeah. bald, one with hair. You guys are so not progressive. <laughs> That's true. I like to think myself as progressive. Yeah. Progresso, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You stepped on my line. Wow. Stepping on my punch lines. Okay. How, how, how am I supposed to know you were going to use that? that it's great. time. Progresso, dude. Progresso. <laughs> Chicken noodle soup is actually really good, by the way. I'm progressive, too. Like... Like if I see two, like if I see two dudes, hold on, making out. Oh, this whole podcast is just gonna be us. No, like, I'm so progressive that, like, like if two dudes are making out like near me, mm-hmm. like the, it's weird. I have like a like an a boner an inner an inner like I have I get red a raging boner. You blush. And, uh, no, it's like I have like a. Like a fight inside me that goes like, hey, just accept that they're kissing. Like I, I like, I don't know if I should look away, or if I should be like, no, I'm cool, Ben. You guys are making mm, out. I'm cool. Oh, well, you know what I mean? I'm so progressive. Yeah, yeah. If I see two guys making out, I just jump in. Yeah, and start making out with them. You better. You hold their it hair. It was you that I was looking hair. at. Was let let like, me hold your hair. <laughs> no, I'll just be like, let me grab those balls for you real quick. <laughs> oh, my God. Hold his hair back. Back in the day, I had. I had uh, two gay best friends, and they were boyfriends. What? Why are you shaking your head? I'm serious. Okay. All right. Yeah. And I used to make Vine videos of them because they used to make out <laughs> everywhere, <laughs> dude. <laughs> everywhere. And I was the only one that drove. And it was so <laughs> hot. I'd ask one to, no, I need one of you in the front. Mm-hmm. And one of you on the back yeah, because if I separated right, I'm not an Uber driver, even though Uber wasn't invented yet. Mm-hmm. Um, I it was always they were like teenagers, dude. We were like 20, 22 years old, and these guys were making out all the time, Jeez. everywhere. Yeah. Sounds like fake taxi. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said you were the gay third wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I've asked. <laughs> yeah. I've asked many times. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. I, 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 had, I had two gay, I had two gay roommate, roommates once. <laughs> oh yeah, he told yeah. me about that shit. Yeah, okay, I had two gay roommates once. They were and Gail's roommate too. <laughs> they didn't really have. They didn't. They weren't really that affectionate in front of each other. I mean, they would sit next to each other. And were you upset about, about that? <laughs> yeah, I was. I, I wanted to hear some moaning. You're like I'm progressive. Some man moaning. You guys gonna have sex in front of me? <laughs> yeah, you can, I just want to see what it's like. What, what how it works. Yeah, you know? I don't want to participate. I just want to be in the. I want to see the the operational the operation. <laughs> the operation. How the sausage is made. Yeah, yeah. it was a, that. They, it was wild. Like one of them ended up like getting really like addicted to meth. And then, <laughs> Actually, I, that sounds boyfriend. a lot like my two old gay yeah. best I'm friends. Like, were they his roommates? Too? Right. Yeah. We'll talk off here about the names, yeah. but yo. So why do you think gay people will get addicted to meth? 
I don't know. Because it's, I don't know. Isn't there this thing called something railing? I don't know if you can look this up for me. But uh, oh. I don't want to see one come it, down. They, they I ca- want to see. I th- it's like split railing or something, but I think it, look it up. What Just, do I look up? Uh, let, me, let me look it up. I'll look it up. It's called something railing, and I it's think, when I think he's they got it become, bookmarked. I think they become um, they're more prone to addiction because of um, just pretty much everything, like psychologically and like physically, mentally that they go through, and that that you know that's happening. That they fall onto either drugs or alcohol to cope with. Should I ask my gay friend? Uh no. <laughs> Ask your Just gay ask him friend. What are you going to ask him? <laughs> Call him? Call him on the line? Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm pretty uh, sure he'd answer. Okay. Let me see if, he, if I can a lot of wiener. Him. I got to erase a lot of the stuff on That's why I said I didn't my phone. <laughs> yeah. There, I, uh, I don't know. I'm at loss for words. It's, it, I think when you snore drugs off of a man's genitals. Oh, my oh gosh. God. The, and they call it... Something railing. I don't know. It, it wasn't very specific in the description. Did you Google what you just said? No, I terminology for no. I put railing, coke, gay sex, <laughs> and nothing came up except for that video that I showed you. Um, no, it, they're they're not giving me the right word that I need. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> it, there's something along the lines of that. Uh, I'm not going to text him. I don't want to bother. I know. What are you doing? I was going to ask him what railing was. You... That? <laughs> no, I was just going to ask him, like, why does he think? Why? What I want to know is why his name was saved as your boyfriend in your contact. Because uh, it's my chocolate man. I think it. <laughs> Me, Novia. I think. Or Novio, the... right? I'm I, th- it wrong. I think <laughs> that. <laughs> Whatever. We need more fajitas for him. Yeah. So Give I me think. Some of them chicken fajitas. Just. From to reiterate what you were saying, Amber, I think it's it's exactly that because of the how you are perceived as a person and the trauma that a person goes through in life. That's like even could be they were closeted for years yeah. until they came out, and even that entire trauma of their childhood has. Well, I had, a, I had a discussion once because one one of the two in the in the relationship was really bitchy, you know, like really just like mad at everything, like hated. Every, I mean, I've never heard such cruel shit come out of people's mouth that I did with those guys. Imagine what went inside like, his mouth about everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, I had a I had a discussion with Comedy. him once, and I told him, I said. Uh, why are you such an asshole? You know, uh-huh. we were drinking and, and I was like, why, why are you, why are you such an asshole to everybody? And like, yeah. he started crying and he was like, oh, I didn't, I don't mean, mean to come off like that, but he had to turn that way because he was constantly being attacked growing up. You right. Know? People yeah. were messing with him and his yeah. family disowned him, you know, and everything. So he just turned into this like cold, mean bitch. Yeah. That's what gotta be nice wow. to people no matter what. Yeah. You really should. I agree. Yeah. Gilly. What? Me? <laughs> Especially yeah, you. you. Yeah, I'm you, never man. malicious to anybody. Oh, what? God. What? Don't let us get started. <laughs> I'm the nicest guy you will ever meet. Yeah. Yeah. But but I think you're right. I think you're right. Because it's, it's the mentality of I'm going to get you before you get me. Yeah. And I know that because I went through that growing up. Amber where, used to be gay. Where I had no. <laughs> where I had to. Like, so she likes me because of. I my wonder if physical. she's aware that she's in a lesbian relationship right now. <laughs> I yeah. am. I am. <laughs> no, but I I had to defend myself. Not often, but I felt like I had to. Like in my brain, I made these scenarios up, right? Mm-hmm. And I felt like I'll, I'm going to get you before you get me, or I'm going to point out the obvious before you point out the obvious. Yeah. So I I see that mechanism and why people use it. It's it's just to protect themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I talk about my snail. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just throw it out there. Yeah. Before they can make fun of it. Did I tell you that I barely understood that like last week because I pictured it? Because I didn't want to picture you <laughs> <laughs> that way. 
I thought you had, you had said that the last podcast. Yeah, you said that last yeah. time. I know, but I want to reiterate. Okay, tell no, you. That's fine. That, that's fine. that I think good. about it often. Nice. Yeah. I think about you often also. I know. <laughs> but those vines were crazy, though. How, <laughs> I bet. How do you think um, comedy for you guys, like, what what is comedy for you? Like, do you guys use um, a lot of your trauma to write? Uh, jokes or are they happy moments or what where where does your a lot of your comedic act kind of stem from like when you're writing and things like that for anyone i think for me it's a little bit of everything i don't know i just like to make fun of myself i feel like if you're able to make fun of yourself a lot of people will like you you know because then they can kind of relate to dumb shit that's happened to you or dumb stories you know so that's where i get my stuff from and I just kind of copy Gil, whatever he throws out there, you know. <laughs> Still his jokes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like, uh, I like talking about. I want, I like, I, I have some jokes that I'm like that are like half baked that I want to work on, and it's it has a lot to do with like childhood trauma and stuff, and figuring out a way to make it sound funny. And another thing to that is. I didn't really start getting laughs until I got really personal. Like I have mm-hmm. jokes that are about, you know, the government and right. drugs and stuff, but they don't, mm-hmm. they don't work because I think it's just the, the added, like there's feeling into the, the personal stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. People like, they come off different. People yeah. like when you can be vulnerable. Right. So yeah, it's your true self. Right. It's true. And I and I always what I tell Gil like when he makes jokes like about himself, I, I always tell him like no one can really come come and tell you like <laughs> Ricky, are you like, five years old? I can't say yes. the word call. He's like, that's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. No, but like no one can tell you that you're wrong, that, that your joke is wrong yeah. or that it's yeah. not right or anything because it, it is, because it's true to yourself and who who you are as a person so it's not like they can come and be like oh you're wrong you know your sister wasn't on meth like yeah you know or whatever the joke is like so i i like when people write about themselves and all yeah. that. i think it, yeah no yeah i like that too jay is that what bald head and talk about right. my my man tits <laughs> you know like <laughs> all things that like i'm self-conscious about mm-hmm. or like you know I'm jay is that why there. you hang out with ricky because he acts like a five-year-old yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly why. <laughs> He's gonna take me into his van. <laughs> Allegedly. They role play. Hey, little kid. You hey. Oh, how about we do some? You know, who, do you know how to do impressions? Like, who would you say is your best impression to do? <laughs> oh. Give me Mine? your impression. Yeah. Of what? I don't know. Do Anything. I have an? Can I have an impression? Or an accent? Um. Can an impression. Do an accent? Jay is actually really good. I actually wanted to hear your your uh, British accent. Uh, okay, but could Jay go first and then I'll go? Yeah, this is actually go, Jay. Jay go first. Just, can my man go first? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. No, I don't want to do that. Oh come on, Jay! I don't, I don't Stop know being a what fucking to, bond fool. I don't know what to say. So what, you want me to do an accent? You just did a whole ass fucking I was, recital. I was high. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know. What a peaky fucking blinders, eh? <laughs> You Wait, sound like a British hip hop artist. That, that's your British. <laughs> yeah. Okay, British. Go. British. Okay, British. Again. Um, I'm from Manchester, and I support Manchester City. <laughs> <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. So. All right, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, British accent for me. Hello, mates. Jay, thank you for coming onto the podcast. Ricky, thank you. That was not I'm bad. Spanish. I'm yeah, Spanish. Ricky. Ricky, Ricardo. Isn't a little mate? Isn't it like Australian? Or? Hey, mate. Hey, little no. bugger. No, little bugger. Mate. Bugger, this no, mate. This Bloke. ain't no Django Django. Bad. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> mate. You got a fag I could smoke. Oh, that's Whoa. Good. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. They, was call, that? they call cigarettes fags over there. They do? <laughs> yeah. You have a lot of cigarettes. And they you. call gay people. <laughs> <laughs> I, was just I thought that was fucking Chris Helmsworth right now. I thought Jay Left and Chris Helmsworth just came hello, in. Hello, hello, my colonial cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you look like. <laughs> 
What does he look like? What does he look like? I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Keep right. talking. He looks like the like guy from egg. the, the... <laughs> like an egg with beard. <laughs> no, no, you look like an actor. Oh no, he looks Jason like Statham. <laughs> it's gonna be no. somebody fat. <laughs> no. <laughs> I got called Will Sasso the other day. Yeah, shout out to that Will Sasso. Shout was out good to Dudezy. Oh my God, or brother. Hey, well, brother. I, hey, I, brother. I can do a uh, Hulk Hogan maybe. <laughs> uh, three, two, one. What you go. gonna do? What you gonna do, brother? No, wait, hold on. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's mind your cup. <laughs> that's uh. Okay, how about we give you a scenario? Okay, okay. Ma- I'm Hulk Racho. No, I'm Macho Randy Ma- Savage. Okay. Macho Man Randy Savage. Go. Man- Ma- Macho Man Randy Savage goes to the bank, but they all have singles, and he's pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do when Macho Man Randy Savage <laughs> needs some? Coins. <laughs> I need some coins oh. to take to. <laughs> need some coins to go to. Well, Mr. Chuck e. Cheese. <laughs> Mr. Savage, I'm actually. Elizabeth oh, is oh, behind oh. me. <laughs> Mr. Savage. I just need some coins, brother. Uh, oh my Mr. God. Savage, first of all, you need to relax, and all we have is dollar bills. Is that okay? Well, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> it's not going to work. I need you some coins, my man, before I break you in half in the ring. Mr. Savage, and Mr. Put Savage. You down. Mr. Savage. And spin <laughs> for the one. And three. Mr. Savage. Mr. Savage. You know what? I'm going to have to call my uh, manager. My manager is going to come here and talk to you. His name is uh, Jonathan. Uh, He's from England. (laughs) He's a British British, uh, migrant. (laughs) Are you (laughs) going to... You're going to give yourself hemorrhoids. (laughs) The thing with that, brother. (laughs) Okay, now you sound like the guy from the fucking movie theaters. (laughs) <laughs> in a world, <laughs> in a world where Macho Man Randy Savage is trying to get coins at the bank, <laughs> and the bank manager Jerry or Jeff, I really can't remember his name right now, <laughs> is telling Macho Man Randy Savage that he can't have coins this summer, <laughs> or maybe fall. The movie will be out. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. That was awesome, dude. <laughs> I think that movie deserves a fucking Oscar nominee right there already. Yeah. yeah. I don't even want to see your fucking calzones. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you look like you're trying to take a mean Hey, dude, that's, that's, shit right that's how there. acting is, though. You got into character. Just, oh, yeah, brother. Dude, I've been watching a lot of wrestling, so I think that that's my macho man That was right now. awesome. I didn't know you had that in you. Me neither. No? Was no. it good? It was yeah. good. Yeah, I, I blacked out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You can't breathe. This fucking, all. The spirit of Macho Man Randy Savage just jumped into your body. Yeah. That's, uh, I believe it. I'm wet. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> That's the only impression I can do. I try Bill Cosby. It doesn't work out <laughs> as much. Hey, let's do Bill Cosby and like somebody that you know he meets. Okay. You, you know how to do Bill Cosby? No, no. You'll be Bill Cosby and then just, you know, pour something in my drink and I pass out. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think you should do this in blackface. Okay. <laughs> Damn, <dude. laughs> Mr. Cosby. Oh my God. Hi. It's nice to meet you. I'm um Rebecca. How you doing, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bill Cosby. <laughs> that sounds a little off. <laughs> I got some pudding for you. <laughs> yes, I do. But when I get you on the couch for that one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> and Miss Elizabeth is behind me. I will get you because I need that belt. <laughs> that was awesome. Something like that. Yeah, that yeah. was definitely that's how, Bill Cosby. That's how that I, the best I Bill Cosby see version I've ever seen. Bill Cosby. Oh, Jesus. My that was great. hurts just watching you. Mm. That was fun. What else can I do? Um, Give me a scenario. I'll try to do one. Yeah, okay. Do one. All right. Uh, Let's or see. someone watching, someone watching. Give okay, so scenario. yeah, someone give us a scenario of Ricky. what we can do. My voice is going out now. <laughs> oh, yes. says, uh, <laughs> do an impression of Macho Man crashing his car. car. Oh, man. All right, well, well, 
Think of one girl and then we'll do another one that somebody asked. Oh, my heart hurts. So, <laughs> wait, so I snap into a Slim Jim? Snap <laughs> into <laughs> So I have to do Randy Man? Uh, no, no. no. Um, you're a gay cholo. Oh, this is going to be great. Wait, this, dang, fool. Oh, somebody said have Jay do a Trump impression. Oh, <laughs> there, <you go. laughs> there we go. <laughs> Give us another one for okay. Ricky after. Okay, ready? Hi, uh, Mr. Donald Trump. We're gonna hear an interview about you. Uh, interview about you. The um, about those Jewish people <laughs> making the tunnels. Well, first of all, it's President Trump, <laughs> and uh, I believe that the Jews love to be underground, and that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't know. That was good. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Shout out to Sandra for giving that. Sandra. uh, Sandra. That's my. That's my GF. Okay. That's my girlfriend. What? Sandra. Mm -hmm. So you're not gay? I thought we had a whole relationship, you and I. Well. Wait, did she know that you cannot do a Donald Trump (laughs) (laughs) impression? No, I usually can. I just, I don't know. I just can't do it off the spot. That's their role play. That's their role play. (laughs) (laughs) That's their role play. Yeah. She can't stop. And I talk talk about building a wall in between us. I'm like, based on her last name, I'm going to go out on a limb. (laughs) Yeah, she's uh, she's brown. (laughs) They'll get over the wall. Um, Or they'll get over it. Or under it. The The Jews will build a tunnel under the wall. Can you do a Donald? No, I can't. I'm, try- I'm trying to get my voice into Somebody it. said do a Mickey Mouse. But Sergio's the greatest oh at, my God. at doing Mickey Mouse yeah, impressions. He yeah, he is pretty good. Yeah, so I don't think I can do that. All right, give, give Ricky a... <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> there you go. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. There you go. All right, uh, Mickey Mouse sticking up a... Um, a plug. <laughs> no. All right. A bank. Okay, count me down. Count me down. What's up with banks? Okay, go three, two, one. This is a fucking hole up, you motherfuckers! Put the money in the back, bitch. You heard that, Goofy? You're goofing around. Get the fuck over here. Get that bitch. <laughs> okay, right away, Milky. Right away, Milky. Give me only a hundred dollar bills and fifties, bitch. You hear this? One false move and I'll blow your fucking head off. And then... <laughs> <laughs> you cannot steal anything from this bank, you see. If you snap into a Slim Jim. Randy, once Macho Man Randy Savage, run! run. You can. He's I, have still a need, I still need coins to give to my fans, you see. Miss Elizabeth is going to be right next to me on the corner post. Son. Oh, man. Get out of here, Mickey. Good. Fine, let's get out of here, boys. <laughs> let's go. Hey, why don't we make a show like that? Like a live show. Like instead of stand up, you come and you choose three, right? So you get your impression, you get your scenario, and then you get like, I don't know, time frame. Yeah, we can call it We Don't Do Mics. <laughs> yeah, because we don't, no, but we, don't we do. We do. <laughs> That's where the comedy is. Comedy. I don't know. I think it'd be funny. Think about it. Bye. These Jews are everywhere. They're in tunnels now. You see, I'm coming up for election in 2024. No, I can't do it. I can't. Just can't. That was Sleepy Joe. Who can do Sleepy Joe Biden? Joe Biden. Who? Can... What's going on here? Oh, first we start with that. I don't know how he talks. I just think of an old man fucking about to I feel die. Like I never hear him talk. Yeah. <laughs> Right? They're he making doesn't... the frogs gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who can do Alex Jones? I think this Jay can probably... You can do Alex Jones. I don't know. I've never watched any of the thing. You never watched InfoWars or anything nah. like that? Really? You strike me as like his main audience yeah. Really? person. Yeah. No. Like you would digest yeah. that every no, I've never, second I've of never... the day that you would listen to Alex Jones and just completely believe everything <laughs> that he says over the radio mm. and you would take that into your personal and professional life yeah. <laughs> i think this was still randy Sa- randy savage right now yeah. just I was like, i'm getting scared <laughs> it's like i 
gotta go, guys. I need an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Sergio says uh, Jace already sounds like Alex Jones. <laughs> you kind of do. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Um, from all the cigarettes you know, I used to smoke. You know, Logan. your Trump impression kind of reminds you of like Krusty the Crown. Krusty the Clown a little bit. Krusty the Crown? Krusty the Clap Clown. I've never done it with uh, men? Headphones. <laughs> or a woman? Or a woman? Just trans? <laughs> yeah, I've never done it with a, like, on a microphone or anything. Okay, Joey Diaz, go. I don't know. Get up, cocksuckers, it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I oh know. shit! Hold on, hold on. Let, me, <laughs> let me let me count you in. Ready? Wait. Uh, how about Joey Diaz uh, trying to order a Big Mac at McDonald's? Ready? In right. five, four, three, two, one. Listen here, McDonald's. Wait, hold on. It sounds like Randy Savage already. <laughs> I need a McDonald's. <laughs> you gonna get about, coins from McDonald's? How about I do Ricky? No, Ricky. Ricky Novia. No, mm. uh, Randy Man Savage. As uh, Joey Diaz. All right. I go. <clears throat> Randy Man Savage. No, it's <laughs> Rick, <laughs> Ricky Novea. Having <laughs> anal, with, of... anal with Ricky Novea. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right. Wow. Ready? Are you ready for that? Come on. You got to fucking on. do it, dude. Wait. Hold on. I'm still Joey Diaz. Hold on. Um, I'll direct let this. Let me do. I'll direct this porn. McDonald's. Let me get a number five cocksuckers because you know I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no, 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 I can't. Nah, I'm I'm stuck in uh stuck inside Randy Savage, Ooh. or he's in stuck mm. inside I think he's inside, me. inside of you. Ooh, raw, yeah. yeah. <laughs> raw is war because I'm fighting my way out, but I can't. This week on No Way Out, <laughs> Macho Rant and Manny Savage is gonna take on Donald Trump for the heavyweight title. Only at No Way Out. Oh, I. You know what we can do? We can do our uh, promotion. So we're it's SummerSlam. It's No Way Out. It, it's No Way Out. It's 1982. Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage versus Donald Trump. Mm. So we. So we each get a minute and talk about our promotion yeah, and what we're going to do to each other in the ring. Yeah. So who wants to go first? I don't know. I never followed wrestling at all. So <laughs> You're Donald Trump. But you're Donald oh, Trump. Yeah. Okay. Just be um, Donald Trump. Is oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have an interview between Donald J. Trump and Macho Man Randy Savage that's going to fight for the heavyweight title at No Way Out. First, we're going to go with Donald J. Trump. How do you feel tonight? I'm feeling tremendous. You know, let me get a sip of my water. Quit, wet my whistle. Macho Man Randy Savage says that he's gonna get you with the arm slam. How do you feel about the that? Arm slam. Macho, macho Man Randy Savage is an absolute homosexual. <laughs> Just gonna go out there and say it. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna say that uh, I'm gonna build a wall around him. All right, now to Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> this was stupid. Macho Man Randy Savage, what do you feel about Donald J. Trump? <laughs> this is having a seizure. Well, the first thing that Donald J. Trump needs to know is that I'm the man, that I am macho. And with Miss Elizabeth beside me, I'm going to take him to No Way Out because I got three minutes. And the three minutes that I have with him, I'm going to break him <laughs> <laughs> in half. Well, there you I'm have no it. No Way Out. Oh, he's still cutting it. Oh. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Don't miss out. <laughs> I think he's having a seizure. February 2nd, No Way Out. <laughs> Donald J. Trump versus Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, I'm Only tired. on pay-per-view. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, dude, you fucking almost <laughs> shit yourself had a stroke. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I'm tired. That that really took a lot out of me. Yeah, we could tell. How how about we do wordplay, ready? So you say one word and then I'll try to like rhyme it, I guess, until <sighs> one of us fucks up. Okay. Foliage. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Moliage. Moliage. Thank you. We have to rhyme it? Dude, yeah. you were a rapper. How the fuck did you not? You You're can... a rapper? Can we get some rapping no. music on so he can rap? <laughs> no. You have to rap like Donald Trump. Just put Trump. instrumental. <laughs> no. Yeah, let's do no, a freestyle. No. Freestyle no, 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 on no, Mind no, no. Buzz. Only on Mind Buzz. <laughs> this is Randy Savage on <laughs> Mind Buzz. You're going to 
make yourself pass out. I know. <laughs> Can you choose, choose an easier word? Um, cuckold. How about just we, how about we don't rhyme them? I mean, they just think of a word just to like keep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a say a letter. All right, oh. just start off then. Okay, fart. Bart. Sim sim. Wait, so not rhyming? We're just doing it. I think we just say words. Just say words. Okay, there you go. Let's see how just let's see how going. far we can go. Let's try to make a sentence. Just real saying words. Ready? So you start. You start. I'm gonna go with fart again. Fart. Yeah. Art. Class. But. Mass. Protein. Poster. Wait, what's the point of? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the game. I don't think it was game. What was the point of rhyming? I, we were trying. I thought we were trying to make a sentence. Oh man, what's your favorite food, Gil? Oh, we can talk about that. Uh, I used to be vegan. Oh, okay. Nice. I Yay. am. Years ago. <laughs> I am vegan. Yeah. And uh, I'm surprised uh, an hour in, and I, I feel like that was the first topic that you were going to bring up. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually talk about it until somebody brings it up. Really? Mm-hmm. How often does that happen? Well, if I'm out, I'm over, like, you know, at somebody's house and... And they've made food. I usually have to tell them, like, I can't eat that. Or I have to ask them, like, what's in it because I eat plant-based diet. Dang, and I almost offered you guys barbecue ribs. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I did it. I would have just politely declined. <laughs> barbecue tastes so good. I'm going to slap your mama. <laughs> yeah. What's crazy is when you do bring it up, though, like, people automatically feel like they need to defend the way they eat. You know? Mm. And I'm like, mm, it's just kind of my thing. That makes like, sense. Like if you're like going to judge them, right? That right. Thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh well, uh, we, there's a we, lot of yeah. shouty vegans that are like. Yeah, I was gonna know. say that. I think it's because uh, vegans get a bad rap for like those like really like hardcore hardcore vegans. That right. Kind of. Yeah. Activists. Yeah. Right. So what kind of vegan are you though? I just I eat plant based and I try not to buy things that have animal products like deodorant. Sometimes, yeah. Toothpaste. Yeah. Socks. Lube. Yeah. Underwear. <laughs> there's a, actually a I'm not, vegan. I'm not the best. I'm not the there's I'm not a vegan, like a perfect vegan. I there's have a, leather shoes. There's a cruelty-free based. Uh, oh, wait. you Because you could be vegan and not do it for the animals. You do it for your health. No, I. Well, I started. Well, now I'm like super unhealthy, but I had lost 80, <laughs> 80 pounds. And Clearly. I gained it all back. Clearly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're a but, bunch of uh, tortas in this fucking I started table. because I had gotten food poisoning, and I was like, I need to make a a decision. I made a, make a drastic change in the mm-hmm. way I ate. So I went to eating plant-based, which kept me away from, like, fast food restaurants and things like that. And I, I don't – I like cooking, so I started cooking for myself. And then in that process of being, like, stoked that I was a, a vegan, I started watching, like, documentaries and – things like oh that. and that's where i drew like uh connection with the animals mm, so sense. it was so you were plant-based first before the environmental stuff and yeah uh, i didn't well, know anything about that oh until, yeah cowspiracy that's a cool one uh, yeah uh what's the other so one that was forks over knives that one's cool super size me earthlings super, <laughs> oh my god dude that yeah. i cried it's sad it's I really cried. sad and it's crazy I mean, like, like the dairy industry is horrible. Mm -hmm. It's like, you're not even supposed to be drinking milk, which is why most people are lactose intolerant. Mm -hmm. It's not all people. And the way they get that milk is sad, too, because they essentially have to rape a cow (laughs) (laughs) in order to impregnate them. They have to force them to be pregnant because the only way they produce milk is when they're pregnant. And then as soon as they have their babies... (laughs) The babies are sh- just ripped away from them immediately, veal. and they cry. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Veal, whatever. I don't know. I, I like now that I'm I eat plant based. Like, I look at a cow the same way I would a dog or a cat. You know. I, actually, that's an interesting thought because uh, I was going to actually write a bit about how um, we are Americans save dogs from being eaten in asian countries and asian countries or it it was going to be something around those lines of uh we treat we don't treat cows as dogs when in other cultures people eat dogs yeah 
You know what I mean? That's mm-hmm. weird to me. Yeah. Like it why it's the same concept, right? Right. Of how certain people feel about eating certain animals. Like Well, they don't eat mm-hmm. cows in India. Yeah, for religious like right. a, religious like reasons. Like a god pretty much, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like I got to Love your input. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just think because it's like, uh, I don't know. I, I get why, you know. I think uh, the way they do kill animals is inhumane. There's mm-hmm. some places, there's some farms that don't do it inhumane, you know. Yeah. But I don't know. How, it's come you don't, like, how come you don't eat a dog or a cat? I mean, you, I ate a bunch of pussy. And you will time. eat a pig or a yeah, cow. Ex- yeah, you know? exactly. If, if given the opportunity, I'd probably eat a dog. <laughs> Honestly, for I would probably too. Like Peruvians eat guinea pigs, dog. And I make fun of my best friend all, that, all the time because he's Peruvian. I'm like, yeah, he's eat guinea pigs. But he's like, mm. yeah, but they're not like our pets. You know, they're like in a farm. I've eaten a camel. <laughs> toe <laughs> Gilly's camel toe <laughs> <laughs> no, You didn't let her finish I've, I've, had a moose had, knuckle once. I've actually had camel mm. I had a camel burger in Dubai How was it? Was it good? It was delicious Wow Yeah. Go. I, I, for me I'm I'm kind of desensitized on that Like I get it Like it's it's horrible And especially when they like yeah. mass You know produce things But I come from Well my dad comes from like a ranch Where that's that's their own no, no. way of living, and yeah. and that's like, to them, it's like they eat that or they don't eat anything, and and they do they they produce cows and pigs and everything. Yeah, well, clearly, I'm not eaten. starving. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I mean, I guess for me, I I've been around, I've seen them kill cows and pigs and chickens, and and yeah. and I'm just like, hey. Andy wants I, In and Out right now. I feel yeah. bad, but. They're delicious. Let's give him the in and out. <laughs> Man, I used to I used to eat a lot of a lot of meat. <laughs> a lot of meat. Like every like three times a day I would eat meat and cheese. Dang. Yeah. And it's horrible. It's horrible for us. Yeah. Absolutely. Meat and cheese? Especially yeah. like meat here in the US, like how processed it is. Yeah. It's like like you can't compare like what I'm talking about, like from the ranch, where it's like there's no chemicals, there's no pesticides, they're not given food to make them plumper they're not eating you know uh gmo plants they're not anything and then it's like going straight like they kill it and then you eat it within like the next couple of hours so they're not being transferred they're not being you know put in like a freezer or anything like that so it's completely different but yeah it's bad so what's your favorite meal <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we can get i feel like it just brought it down it's just kind of like we're all sad now. Uh, you know, I'm not sad. I just imagine <laughs> the cow <laughs> getting raped. <laughs> wow. Wow. Jay is doing the raping. <laughs> I'll put up a mirror next time so you can watch me while I'm raping you. Yeah. Do you see what it looks like? That was hot. Yeah, because when you when you said that, it's is it? But is it really? Or is it well, just I mean, science? I don't think they're consenting to being. It's like I'm, <laughs> I'm doing this for America. <laughs> I'm doing don't, this. Don't for America. come in, me fucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! But what's your favorite meal, Gilly? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, I like pizza. Uh, if, uh, I'm a very American boy. Um, I like pizza, tacos, you know, French toast. Yeah. Uh, I'm Pizza's pretty pretty American. Uh, I've had a American childhood. Um, both of my parents uh, didn't get divorced. They stayed with each other up until they're they're still living up in Connecticut at the moment, and um, it that's pretty much my childhood. Mm. Jealous. Yeah. You like deep dish pizza? Deep dish? I've never had deep dish. Oh man, there's a place in Echo Park. Masa? Mm-hmm. Really good. Yeah, Masa. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. You've been there? Yeah. So good. Masa. It's on sunset. Takes like 40 minutes to make, but. Damn. Yeah. Oh, deep dish? You got to order it like ahead of time. Have you, you can... had like real deep dish like in Chicago? No. Chicago. 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 There's a lot of Mexicans in Chicago, I heard. Is really? mm-hmm. I think so. There is. They're everywhere. Yeah. Just like Peruvians. There's a lot of Peruvians everywhere. You'd be surprised. Wouldn't there be more Canadians <laughs> in Chicago? <laughs> Give me your, Canadian, that, give me your Can- Canadian accent. Go. 
they don't have accents. What Canadians, are you talking yeah, about? No, Canadians they don't. do. They say a. Oh, that's it. Like so, Mexicans. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A. Oh. That's it. No, sorry, well, I mean, a. We're, we're not from fucking Canada, bro. That's... <laughs> You're not from Canada? This is crazy. You're not from Canada. Calm down. Hold on, brother. <laughs> There's a lot of funny people that come from Canada. Yeah. Jim Carrey. Name one. Harlan <laughs> Wells. Wow, like okay. So like two. Beat you to the punch already. John Candy. He was Canadian? Yeah. Really? Drake. Yeah, I think so. Oh, my God. I want to look that up. I don't know. Drake. Like half of the cast from Whose Line, it, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Besides the black dude, what was his name? Uh, Wayne Brady. Yeah, is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch? <laughs> he's out of the. He's isn't he out of the closet now? Wayne Brady? Yeah. No, yeah. is he really? Yeah, yeah, yeah he came he out. Last year. What? Yeah, that's like good for you, Jay. But yeah. that's terrible for yeah. comedy. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah. I just <laughs> words just come out of my mouth that I don't. Really Do you understand get the processed. words coming out of my mouth? No one understands the words coming out your mouth. <laughs> I didn't process. You process might have that. to edit this. No, everything's Everything live. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm We're doing live. it live. Do you see that newscaster that fucking did that shit? I'm doing it live right now. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm doing it live right now. Yeah. Uh, Canadians are pretty funny. You, you know who? Uh, so Chi Jin Chong actually met in like Vancouver or something like that. Something but, like that, I think so. Yeah. Um, something. There's a bunch of uh cool professional wrestlers that were from Canada. Edge and Christian yep. were from Canada. Um That's all I know. Sami Zayn. You guys Kevin keep going Owens. back to wrestling. I don't know anything about it. Nothing. Well What's it's your favorite the big food, show? Ricky? That actually I see the meal, Ricky. What's there my favorite go. meal? Yeah. Fuck, I have a lot, but if I would, if I can choose, it would have to be my mom's milanesas and potato salad. What is that? You had one meal to eat for the rest of your life. What would that meal be? Milanesas and potato salad. Milanesas. Milanesas is, is just like a a, a breaded uh, steak, or it could be breaded chicken. You just fry it. Like con- just it say be, country fight but it's steak. It's like no, it's pounded loser. out to be yes. like no. <laughs> you got to pound your meat. <laughs> it's not Ooh. country steak. No, it's different. You country. have to like pound the meat till it's like like paper thin. Yeah. Oh, that's why you like it. I'm like pounding pound my meat. meat. That's why you like my it. My mom's good at pounding meat. meat. <laughs> <laughs> your mom pounds the meat. My mom pounds the meat. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, th- wings, tacos. Fuck, man. What else? Um, I used to love wings before. Too. Amber's dad makes the best wings. We had that yesterday, and oh my god, dude! I'm not just saying that because I'm trying to marry his daughter, but. These wings are so freaking delicious, they dude. Double fry them. They are delicious. I don't know what he does. Bone in or bone out? Bone in. Yeah. Who eats? Bone out is a bone chicken out. nugget. Chicken. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a chicken For nugget, dude. It just depends, you know. Oh, I, like both. I don't discriminate. I really miss, I do miss eating chicken wings. I so you know what I used to do when I didn't, because I was vegetarian for three years, mm-hmm. um, and my dad used to make hot wings. Um, I used to get obviously it's not the same, right? But mm. but I mean it's not even close. But anyways, I would get tofu mm-hmm. and then I would um do it like the same process that he makes the chicken wings in. So like his his dry, you know, the flour or whatever, and then um and then I would fry them and I would double fry it so that it was crispy mm-hmm. and then I would toss it into the wing sauce. Uh-huh. And it's really good. I'll have to try that. Try it. It doesn't taste like chicken, but do you do you eat the 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 stuff that look like meat? Yeah, like the impossible stuff yeah, and the chick. I eat like an eight year old. You know, I'm not okay. eating healthy. I'm yeah. I'm definitely depleted of vitamins. He has to keep up with his uh his prey. <laughs> I want to be a sumo yeah. wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> You also eat like you're okay. I guess <laughs> right, yeah. that's it. I, I got nothing. What about wait, you, Ricky? Uh, wait, what was what? <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, and you got something? Yeah, I wanted to see. Um, so, who's your uh, ce- celebrity man crush? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, John Candy's out because he's Canadian. That <laughs> I just found out right now. Um, man crush? Was that confirmed? Yeah, it wasn't confirmed. Yeah, he's Canadian. I think he is. Though. He's really hilarious. Yeah. Uh, back to my question. Okay. Um, 
Man crush. Who who would be my man crush, Amber? Do we go through these man crushes every week? I'm on a weekly I'm a weekly man crusher. Oh, so you change it from time to time? From time to time, depending I, on how I feel. I think for right now it's uh Macho Man Randy Savage. Yours? Yours. Or mine? Yours. No, I, he's just in me. Um mm. he's in me. <laughs> That's your uh, spirit animal? He's my spirit animal right now. He's uh, he's alive and well inside me. <laughs> uh, I think about him, you know, every time I flip on the telly. Each time you suplex Amber? Just looking. Yeah, <laughs> suplex city. I take her to <laughs> suplex city. Did you know? Did, do you know what's going on with Vince McMahon right now? Have oh, dude, okay. That? I seen the... Um, like, and Brock Lesnar? Dude? And Brock Lesnar? Yes. Wrestling talk. His name, shut up. His name. <laughs> I feel the same. Way. His name. Uh, so Brock Lesnar's name got brought up while these essay charges were being filed against uh, Vince McMahon, and he's. So there's a uh, the the business that owns WWE, the owns WWE and uh, UFC is called TK Holdings. He was a chairman in TK Holdings, and I think it was yesterday he actually uh, resigned his position from chairman yeah, as. Vince TK Hold, mm-hmm. Holdings, dude. Isn't that wild? Oh, it's amazing. There was a, uh, so there. <laughs> <laughs> I just tuned out. I no, like, but uh, the the allegations were um, sex trafficking in the WWE. So the the person that is uh, filing the charge, I forgot. Can we pull it up? I want to see what wrestler it is. He's going into character very deep. Who? Vince McMahon. Oh yeah, he's <laughs> he's just losing touch of all reality. <laughs> he wants to be the greatest heel ever, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what's going on. Uh but he was he would have these like forced sexual relations with this WWE superstar and he would like videotape it, send pictures, "Hey, you need to go have sex with this superstar." Uh that's why Brock Lesnar's name was brought up because uh he was he was one of the WWE superstars that uh, had relations with the woman. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean. That's major. Yeah. I mean. Wait, his name is Mick yeah. Mahone? No, McMahon. McMahon. Oh. <laughs> supposed to like You're the fucking Mahone. Mahone. Mc- yeah. Like he was a food item on McDonald's and shit. <laughs> <laughs> McMahon. Hey, yeah. I did the best I could. Yeah, everything. It, it's, it's pretty Major, uh, it's pretty major. major. It was yeah. major. <laughs> it's pretty major. It's part major. What's going on with Vince McMahon? You know, Bobby. <laughs> it. it, it's it's yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty major. Uh, Jay, I know everything with you is minor. <laughs> uh, Janelle Grant. Janelle Grant sued Vince McMahon, the co-founder of what would become WWE and the executive chairman of the board of TKO. It's TK Old Group. And accused him of sexual assault and sex trafficking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this came out yesterday. That is, it's, How everything that that's unfolding that? is crazy. It's like, it, my whole childhood is just unraveling in my eyes. Yeah. Stephen Hawking. Epstein Island. All that shit. <laughs> Jews in the tunnels. Mm-hmm. Turning the frogs gay. The world. Wait, so I don't get that reference. What is, what is that? Which one? The gay frog thing. It's Alex Jones. He's saying that some water, I forgot where, is turning the frogs gay. So like, I don't know. I, I don't even want to get into it because I don't fucking know. I just know he's, they're turning the frogs gay. <laughs> so. Wow. So gotcha. don't frogs not have a sex? I don't know. You have to ask him, to be honest. Yeah. I think Can we look frog, that up? Hello, frog. my lady. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Hello, my wintertime time girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I think frogs don't have a sex. They They're, don't? They could be either or. Non-binary frogs. Huh. <laughs> but, okay, think about it, though. Like, a lot of this shit, like, if you, okay, talk about cartoons, like, in Looney Tunes and all that shit, like... <laughs> A lot of that shit was already going on. So, like, how did it not... It's like, it was oblivious back then, you know what I mean? Here we go. Like fish, almost all frogs fertilize the eggs on the outside. The male holds the female around the waist. Whoa. <laughs> what mm. the fuck? Never mind, there is, they are. In a mating hug called amplexus, he fertilizes the eggs as the female lays them. That's what me and Jade do. There was, there was an a animal frogs. that yeah. didn't have a sex. 
Oh. That was frog. Sorry. Bye. It was Jay. It was Jay. Non non binary Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my darling. No one. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> Hello, my rap time girl. <laughs> my goodness, this is not a fucking heart attack. Oh, look, see, there are many animals that can oh reproduce without sex hammerhead oh sharks, snails, <laughs> snails, lizards, snakes, insects, and some armadillos. Oh, armadillo. Armadildos? Oh I think that's God. your spirit animal, Ricky. An armadillo? armadillo? Yeah. Yeah, probably. I like to curl up in a little ball from time to time, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amber's giving us a signal to get the hell out of the fucking studio. Already? <laughs> I was just uh, getting warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my girl. You know what? I forgot can, about that can, frog. Can we listen to it? I want to listen yeah, okay. to it. Uh, cool. the last thing you WB. Those frog lists are canceled. I got to fart so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Go, go for it. You know that's... Shh, quiet, 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 quiet. No, I would clear the room. No, come on. No, do it. Come on. Do it. Yeah. Come on. It's, it's bad. It's bad news. It's a vegan fire. You got to remember that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, never mind. We had Don't someone do that. that worked with us that was vegan, and she would think up that bathroom. And um, <laughs> it was Gilly. <laughs> <laughs> you see how she's like, she? <laughs> um, this is my boyfriend that's a lesbian. Um, WB. WB, yeah. WB. Hello, my daughter. <laughs> Hello, my ragtime girl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Michael J. Frog. Oh, that did not <laughs> go well. <laughs> Give me some volume. So my stomach sounds like right now. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime girl. Send me a kiss by wire. Baby, my heart's on fire. fire. Me, honey, you lose me, then you'll be left alone. Oh, baby, telephone and tell me I'm your own. Love it. Beautiful. Oh, was that was that uh that guy supposed to be like uh played as like a like a rabbi or something? I don't think so. No, was this like a show? Like no, a, not the frog guy. dude. The guy? The, the oh. guy, yeah. No, he I think he's like a poor guy and like he sees the frog singing, so he's like, Oh, I'm gonna be a millionaire. Oh yeah. Oh. And then he doesn't Yeah, he perform. doesn't sing each time I, yeah, like he brings out the frog. I feel like that's a euphemism for um for uh talented people of color and a producer that is using <laughs> I don't know. Using the frog to to make money in entertainment. No. You keep looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> do we, do we have time to talk about one topic? Sure. Sure. The Mark Norman when uh the oh. bomb threat, dude. Oh. What do you think happened? Well, he's he said he came on and said that uh he made a statement saying that it was some surprise that they had from him for the the producer of that show had a surprise for him and it was like all like planned to be like that. But he didn't know about it. I right? almost feel like it was a cover up of something like sketchy. I think so too. But I mean when he was running off, he still stayed in character. He was just doing his little hop, you know. I don't know. That was <laughs> creepy. <laughs> it was scary though. Like, yeah. can we pull, like, pull pull it up? The uh, manager is like, pull it up. The chick looks so fucking scared. That's she what I don't think. Even yeah. get her words up. Mark Norman. Uh, what? What would we look at? Mark Norman escort off stage. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he say like, uh, "This is not the escort Dude. I'm talking about" or something? Okay. All right. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Hey, how are? What do we got? Migrants here. Hey, what's going on? Oh jeez. Everything all right? Just want to make sure everybody's good here. What's going on? Uh oh. Oh boy. Hey. Anything can happen at a comedy show. That was some kind of weird swinger sex party thing. Oh god. Somebody got tased. Somebody got tased. Oh, oh, oh wait, whoa, huh? I really froze there. I went Mitch McConnell. All right. Oh, 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 o
get up, <laughs> get out the the taping. Um, Do we get out or what? Cut the camera. Yeah, just, yeah, I'm one of the producers of the show. Um, yeah, we just need everybody to get out, please. Uh, <laughs> nice and slow. Everything's fine. But you make it better. Any photos or video of what just happened? Wow. wow. Did you see what Andy put? He's like, he was bombing. So they went. They bailed him, they out. Bailed him out. If you ever need us to do that for you, Ricky, <laughs> we will be gladly yeah. to. Wait, so if what? I could get you guys to stop laughing at me bombing. Yeah. What What did he say happened? Oh, yeah. Can we pull up what he said? Sure. Uh, I saw it on his instagram story but this was like days ago yeah so it's not gonna be that, was that before or after you were girl imagine fan? all the people that hadn't closed out their tabs and they're like ha, ha. imagine like you can't leave until you close out your tab mm. as an actual fucking but i wonder why threat. they took people out see that's what i think is weird like because if it was planned they would have just like had people still sit in their seat yeah like why get up and get out like that's weird i wonder if they got a uh a re- refund on the show they're like, ah, I don't know. They're like, you didn't pay for your drink, so let's call it even. Right? Mm. That's how I see it. Is there anything he... I don't know. There's... No, I don't think on YouTube. You can look up, like, Mark Norman's statement or something about being escorted. But I don't think it's going to be on YouTube either. That, uh... There we go. No, that's no, him being on... Nah. Oh, in tears. Yeah. Uh, Anything else? No. So what was the speculation about that? Was it was it like a bomb threat? Yeah. Someone said it was like a bomb threat. The guy that they escorted, they were saying that possibly there was a... Like a Michael a Chap- threat. Chapman type of deal. Like he was a Mark Norman fan. Like he really liked him and he was in love with him and tried to kill him or something. I didn't... I yeah, didn't I don't know. He probably came that. out of the tunnel if it was in New York, you yeah. know? He got, like, too excited because he liked the re- the tweet that he posted on his story, and then he was super excited about that, <laughs> and he goes <laughs> all the way to the comedy club, and right. it just scares the publicist of yeah, Mark I think Norman. That's, yeah, I think that's what actually happened. Uh, Mark Norman's my favorite comic, so I was pretty... Why don't you suck yes. his PPA? <laughs> I'd smell his PPA. I don't know if I'd suck it. Hey, you give, give me your chunk. I'll just tap it on my nose. Oh my god, it's kind of hot, you know. It's fucking just little hammer on the head. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> thump thump. Jesus, this is why I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? You're a you're a 42 year old lesbian with a 29 year old body or something. I don't remember. <laughs> you're a 29 year old lesbian with a 41 year old mindset. Something like that. Uh, yeah, you would you would like me if I was a minor though. Comedy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna wrap this up. You good? I gotta fart. Something. Anything else? Fart, You've been holding fart. it. Just fart, dude. Just do it. No, 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 no. Just do it. Come on, Come on. do it. Do this it. is your first first podcast. I don't even fart around my girlfriend, dude. I don't care. Yeah. You fart around me. Or, I'm just saying. <laughs> We've had people like Shit burp themselves. all the time, and I think it's hilarious. And I said we haven't We've, had anyone. We haven't fart, had a fart yet. And come on, be, please be my. <laughs> no. Hold on, put the camera fart, on me. Fart, I'm not. Fart. I can't do. I'm asking fart, you, fart, fart, yeah. to be my first. I have fart. enough embarrassing stuff on the. End. I want you to be my first fart. Yeah. The whole mind buzz community is asking you to fart. Maybe next time. <sighs> fart, 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 fart. Hello, my nation. <laughs> and that was it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Ricky and Jay. Thanks for being here. Go Thank ahead and tell us where we can find you and what you guys got coming up. You guys can find me on Instagram at Thicker Ricardo. That's with three C's. And this Saturday, February 3rd, I'm going to be at the Fourth Wall Comedy Cafe in Hollywood. February 15th, I'm going to be at the Continental Room. And then, can I say that I'm going to be, yeah, on your show? Yeah. And a great announcement on February 23rd. I'm actually going to be a feature on Delic Comedy in Paramount. Open mic, comedy showcase, and live podcast in the city of Paramount. Come out and have some fun. Jay, where can we find you and what do you got coming up? Buddy? <laughs> Jay Holman Comedy on Instagram and... Uh... Just catch me up and up at an open mic. 
The sexy and or on the toilet. <laughs> I took that picture. At the did you really? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah. That's. There's a toilet who, there with who no. Who took that? I did. No, it's because there's no, no there's no doors. door in that stall. It's just a big, just a wide open fucking space in a toilet, like your vagina. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a prison poop. <laughs> <laughs> L.A. County Jail style. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Don't go there. It's terrible. It really is. So they were checking us in before we go into the cells, and you have to like squat down and push really hard. And three guys on the left of me, this guy was like drunk or something he just got the shit beaten out of him from the LAPD and as he was <laughs> bending down this as was in jail he what was the fuck? bending down he's pushing and and that thing it vaulted and like splashed everywhere it was oh, crazy it's hot yeah it sucked it was crazy mm-hmm. don't go to what LA County <laughs> what do you got coming up Bill? <laughs> well, yeah, Bill Gilly, what do you have? What does Macho Man Randy Savage I'm, have? I'm gonna explode. <laughs> February eighth and February 9th, uh catch me. Oh, February eighth, Huntington Beach at Mambo, Mamba, 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 and February 9th, uh check it out. The, the Mind, mind Bus. Bus. Oh, yeah. Jesus, that was great. Fart. Oh. Thanks for listening to the Mind Buzz podcast. Subscribe to the Mind Buzz YouTube channel and watch full podcast episodes. Keep up with the hosts, guests, and upcoming events by following the Mind Buzz on Instagram at the Mind Buzz. See you on the next one.